My name is Maria Pick. I'm the director of Sextortion Hidden Pandemic. It's a true crime documentary on the fastest growing crime in the world. And unfortunately, it's a crime against children. It can happen to any child that is online anytime, regardless of their background or age or race or socioeconomic status. Uh, we unveiled the case of Daniel Harris, who was a Top Gun pilot in the Navy, who extorted over 300 victims. And through this case, we show the general public what can happen to their child while they're sitting in the bedroom, playing video game or chatting with their friends online. We are very happy to have a special agent, Aaron Burke, with us, who fights this crime daily and right now is in the middle of special operation. Aaron Burke, move Hi. over here so, and talk as loud as you can because we have a big Okay, I'm loud, carpet. so that's good. Oh, that's good. Uh, I'm Aaron Burke. I'm a special agent with Homeland Security Investigations. I run the Child Exploitation Investigations Unit um, within Homeland Security Investigations. And our job is to basically identify and rescue victims of child exploitation online, um, identify and arrest the predators, and really just make the world safer for children. So. We are dealing with cases every day of children being enticed online and exploited online. Literally, today, I'm dealing with two victim rescues right now of children who predators are trying to exploit them and harm them in person that they met online. So this is a, a issue that is happening every single day in every single city across the world, and we're just trying to fight it. And our job is to honestly just educate kids online to say hey this is how you be smart and safe online and to go after those predators who are targeting children online so how do you get the chance to to reach the child online how do you get to them if okay. they're in the middle playing games so we are we have this um, campaign it's a campaign it's an educational campaign called our guardian and we partner with Nick Mick National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, which she can talk about in a minute. We have this campaign called iGuardian, and we are trying to get out there and show kids, hey, these are the dangers online. We also are showing parents, these are the dangers online. So we have several levels of education for every different age level to say, these are what is happening online because kids don't understand, parents don't understand. So we're starting with that education. We want to let them know these are the dangers, these are how to prevent being exploited online, and these are what to do, these are the things to do if you get you know, approached by a predator online. We're going to help you. And so, then on the backside, we're going to prosecute those guys who actually do offend online. So where, where would they find this education? Is there a website? Or? Yeah, so uh, Homeland Security Investigations iGuardian program and National Center for Missing and Exploited Children's NetSmarts, we've combined. You can go online for iGuardian or NetSmarts, and you're going to find tons of material for every age level and every parent level. Plus, we also offer like one-on-one. -on -one. We will do. I will do a presentation to two people. I'll do a presentation to a thousand people. I will do it anytime, any day, any night. I've done presentations at Friday night at 10 o'clock for four people. I will do whatever we need to to get that message outlined out there to parents, teachers, kids, everybody to let them know. Hey, we want to keep you safe. Thank you so much Thank for you. what you're doing. My Thank God. you. Bless you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Please. So I need basically the synopsis like she gave us about your organization and how you're combined and how to reach you and find you online. Yes, my name's Lindsay Olson. You have to speak a lot out My louder. name's Lindsay Olson, and I'm with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. We run the Cyber Tip Line, which is the U.S. clearinghouse regarding reports on suspected incidents of online child sexual exploitation. So we receive reports on child sexual abuse material, online enticement, which includes sextortion reports, child sex trafficking, child sexual molestation, and really any type of child sexual exploitation can be reported into our cyber tip line at www.cybertipline.org or somebody can call into our 24 hour uh, seven day week call center and that's 1-800-THE-LOST and we're in that clearinghouse role so we receive the reports in, we view the information, add analysis to the reports and make those reports available to the appropriate law enforcement agency. Um, in last year in 2021, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children Cyber Tip Line received over 29.3 million reports of suspected online child sexual exploitation. This was a large increase from the previous year when we received about 21.7 million reports. So we are continuing to see an increase in these types of reports come through. Um, and we've also seen an increase in reports 
reports regarding online enticement and sextortion as well. I am, I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked there would be over 20 million reports per year. Did this rise during COVID or has it always been the average? The increase, we do tend to see an increase every year. Um, certainly the reports increased regarding online enticement and sextortion during COVID, a lot because of COVID, because children were at home and offenders were at home and everybody was at home during lockdowns. And you know the only way that kids were really communicating with their friends because they couldn't be in person anymore is they were online. They were on video games, they're on social media, they're using different apps and different platforms to talk to their friends and to communicate and to engage in different activities with their friends. And the offenders know this. And so the offenders were also online um, trying to find new victims. Oh my God, thank you so much for what you're doing. Very well, I've got the time. Thank you. Hi, Stephen, please introduce yourself and tell us um, how you got involved with the project as a producer. Yes, ma'am. So uh, my name is Stephen Peek. I'm the producer and cinematographer for the project. Um, and uh, I actually was the one who kind of started the project happening. Um, I'm a father of two girls, 13 and 10, and as we got a little further in this process and research, I realized that age 10 to 15 is the highest at-risk group there is for this problem. Two years ago, I didn't even know that sextortion was a thing, and in this process early in the documentary that I call drinking from a fire hose, so you're learning so much so fast, I realized that I am the target demographic for my own movie. Oh, wow. I need to know what's happening online so that my girls will be safe. And so we realized that I always do a little research early to find out, has this story been told? Is there a new angle that needs to come? I found 50 or so docs on human trafficking and not a single documentary on this. Online enticement, sextortion, and it's the fastest growing crime in the world online right now. So we realized this story had to be told and as parents, Maria and myself, uh, we thought we were probably the right ones to tell it. Thank you so much. Now, where can we see the film? Which theater and at what time? Yes, so we had our world premiere uh, on Thursday night at the Metro, and then Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. we'll be at the Fiesta, uh, and that's our next screening here at Santa Barbara. Thank you so very much for doing what you're doing. One last question. Yes, ma'am. Do your children tell their friends about this? One of the things that we're really hoping that this film is going to, people will come away with is that kids want to be leaders. Oh. And this next generation, we believe that they can be leaders in this space. And so we want our girls and their friends and this next generation to say, we're not going to be extorted. We're oh, going to know. Great. We don't put our kids on the interstate without going through driver's education and learning the rules of the road. But then we're putting our kids on the information superhighway oh, wow. and we tell them nothing. Oh my gosh. And the parents don't understand that a, a, a children's video game or a social media app that total strangers can reach out, pretend to be somebody that they're not, and trick them. And so we hope that this film will be education and prevention to help save the next kid from, from this happening. Thank you again so much. And it's not just girls, it's also little boys. Absolutely, it's yeah. happening all the time. And yes. the film talks a lot about that. Good. Uh, it has examples of boys that have had this happen to them and girls. So it's literally, we hope to break down stereotypes with this right. film, right. that it can happen to anybody. It's okay, not just good. kids on the fringes of society. And the perpetrators in the film, uh, it's actually a Top Gun air-to-air -air combat, one of the top guys in the I U.S. Navy. It's not some creep living in their mom's basement necessarily. Oh so the film kind of helps to shed some of those stereotypes That's good. so that parents will know what to look for. That's great. Oh my gosh, it's so important. Thank you so much. I, I so really appreciate it. I'm so honored to get this interview with Oh you my all. goodness, and Thank we appreciate you. you helping to bring this because awareness is what needs to happen yes, here. That's right. It's very, very nice very to meet much. you. Pleasure. Thank you so much.